Do you need to roll back an update applied to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8? Well, I'm Don Pazette, and this is a quick bite from IT Pro TV. Rolling back updates in RHEL is actually pretty easy. The first thing we need to do is find out when that update occurred. And to do that, you're gonna run sudo dnf history. This is gonna show the history of your updates and you can identify where that update was installed that's causing your problem. For example, let's say I just installed a emergency security update, but it's breaking my software. Well, in the history, I can find where I applied that security update. I see right here, uh, update number 13 was a security upgrade that I did. I'm now having problems. I'm getting calls from my customers. I wanna roll that back. So to roll that back, we just do sudo dnf history undo, and then the number of the one that we wanna undo. I'm gonna undo number 13. When you run that, it'll give you a quick summary of what it's going to do. It's figuring out which updates were applied, and I can see there was a Java Open JDK update that it bumped me up to a, a sub-release, and so if I choose yes on that, then it is going to roll me back and put me back to the previous version. And when it's done, I'll get a nice little summary here that'll show me that I've rolled back that update. Hopefully that resolves my problem. And from there, I can go and identify the bug or issue, fix that and apply the update properly down the road. Now, this one has a lot of dependencies along with it, so it's handling that. And once it's done, I can see that it has officially downgraded my OpenJDK and hopefully got me past my issue. All right, well, in this quick bite, we got a chance to see how to roll back an update that was applied to RHEL 8 using the DNF command. Find out more over on our website at itpro.tv. I'm Don Pazette, and this is an IT Pro TV Quick Bite.